When John Browning was asked to design a lever-action repeating shotgun for Winchester in 1887, he told the company that a slide or pump-action shotgun would be better for repeating shotguns. Going by the numbers, Browning was right. Who knew? I guess the moral of the story is that when John Browning tells you something about firearms design, then you listen to John Browning. But this is a Kiapa T-Series lever-action shotgun cleverly named as an homage to the film Terminator 2. And while impractical, this thing's pretty fun to shoot. Based on the Winchester 1887 action, the T-Series holds 5 plus 1 shell of 2 and 3 quarter 12 gauge, and is a non-NFA item as well, which is pretty cool. It has a rubber handguard and grip as well, and I wrapped the lever in paracord to make cycling it a bit easier on the hand. There's a lot of heavy metal moving on around inside of a lever action shotgun as opposed to a small bore rifle, and I found that running a few boxes without the paracord was not too comfy. But let's take a look at a few of this gun's features. When you pull the lever down, it's almost as if the gun is its own cutaway. You can see the vast majority of the action, and this is pretty cool for a gun nerd like myself. You can also decock the gun by using your thumb and placing it on a grooved section on the hammer. You'll notice that it does have a tube magazine, but it doesn't have a loading gate. We'll get into that in just a second. It does, however, have a cartridge elevator, like any semi-automatic or manually operated shotgun, although you do have to give the lever quite a wallop to activate it. I've found this to be quite a problem, and really the only way to circumvent this is to be really aggressive with the gun. Shotguns as low-pressure firearms do not require an incredible amount of locking strength, and you can actually see it lock here as the lever fully locks into battery. You can see right at the rear of the trigger guard, kind of, it slides up into that recess, which locks the action. So the way you load an 1887-style shotgun is you push the cartridge elevator down and push the shells in through the top. This is actually kind of tricky too because if you do this even slightly the wrong way you kind of tip the retaining lever and that ejects all the shells out the back kind of you can see me struggling with it here so you have to do it with some care and I imagine that loading this in the field while dove hunting or something back in the day was uh, kind of arduous but they didn't know any better of course so another feature is that you can of course do the spin cock thing as is present in the movie you're really supposed to have a large loop lever to do this but uh, I may do with it so let's do a bit more shooting. So I've got to say that the T-Series is a pretty fun and interesting gun to shoot, but it is a bit finicky and not reliable enough to use for something like home defense. The lever action shotgun was not in the limelight for very long, and when you shoot one you realize why. It's a lesson that consumers learned the hard way, but John Browning knew before he designed them. That said, sending some lead down range with this thing will definitely bring a smile to your face. Big thanks to Ventura Munitions as always for helping us out with our ammunition needs. And a special thank you for watching. We sincerely appreciate it.